What's going on guys? This is Carter and today I have for you an unboxing from Swappa.com. I actually just bought an iPhone XS Max and I got a pretty good deal on it. I got it for about, I think it was $785, maybe like $780. Um, basically, I've never used Swappa before. I've heard from online reviews good things about it. Um, you know, all purchases are through PayPal, so you do have that extra layer of protection but there is some variables there that can be a little sketchy. So um, this purchase I felt pretty good about. Um, it was a listing for open box, um, used just a few times, um, but never activated on iCloud or anything like that. So I don't really know what to expect, but I conversed with the seller for a little bit and ended up getting something that hopefully turns out to be pretty good. The person shipping it did a great job packaging it. So put multiple, multiple layers around it. You know, these iPhone XS Max screens can be very, very fragile. Um, and I do have a case protector. Um, you can see here, I ended up getting the glass TR Easy Fit from Spigen. Um, so that's gonna go on it immediately. And then I ended up getting the iPhone XS Max Ultra Hybrid case from Spigen, which is a crystal clear case, which you can see here. Um, I did get the gold version of the phone, so this is uh, something that will look very, very good, and I, di I didn't want to hide it. Uh, I could have gotten like a matte black case, I'm a big fan of matte black, but I definitely wanted something to show off the screen, at least for the time being. I might pick up a different case down the road, maybe one that's a little bit more protective, but for now we should be good. Okay, let's see what it is like. All right, so let's hop on. You can see there, looks pretty good. Let's hop over to the desk and look at it more closely. All right, so let's see what we have here. Open it up. So it is just the phone. Once again, iPhone XS Max in uh, gold. The color is absolutely stunning. Um, so let's see if it's got some power. Boom. It's a little scrape here and there, but this is, it actually has, I believe the, uh, I don't know if you can see it there. I think it has the stock, I think this is the, stock coating or the stock plastic cover on it so it's a pretty good sign are ready to be set up in settings yeah I mean this looks pretty good so one of the biggest issues you run into when you're buying secondhand phones is a lot of times they will be iCloud locked and if this has someone else's iCloud on it then there's absolutely no way for you to uh, get the iCloud off so at that point, the phone is pretty much useless. However, on Swappa, they make sure that there's no iCloud, the phone is not blacklisted on any mobile networks. Um, I did buy this for T-Mobile, um, and I will run you through the steps on how to purchase a phone off of Swappa um, in just a minute here. But, you know, from first glance, everything on here looks good. Uh, the other thing that you should always look at is the battery life. And so if you look at battery health, Boom, 100% maximum capacity. Yes, yeah, so this is a brand new iPhone. That's, wow, I, I could not be happier with this. I did not expect it to be in this nice condition. It's got all the plastic covers on it. Guys, this is a $1,050 or $1, phone. This is the 64 gigabyte version, $1,050 MSRP. I got this for $780. That's a steal. So what we'll do now is we will hop on over to the computer where I will show you what it's like purchasing off of Swappa. All right, guys, now that we are on the Swappa homepage, I kind of wanted to walk you through so that you can see exactly how it went down and how I was able to purchase this phone. Um, so if you look on here, you can see that I've only made one purchase. Um, this is my very first purchase off of Swappa. And uh, this was for the Apple iPhone XS Max, mint condition. Um, you can list it in each con in different conditions. This one just had to be listed in mint condition, which means that there has to be um, very little noticeable scratches. It has to be almost in 
pristine condition, um, almost like it's brand new. Um, and you can see I bought it for about $785. So if we go over to the sale page here, um, you can see I purchased it on June 29th. Um, sale closed on July 3rd. Paid 760 or paid $785 total after the swap of fee. Um, and then I don't, you don't actually pay, pay the fee as the buyer. The seller lists the item for $760. The price on Swappa is $785. Um, so, you know, it, you, whatever you see the phone listed for, that is the ultimate final sales price. And shipping was included in this as well. Um, I did take a little bit of a risk because the seller that I was purchasing from um, had no reviews. This was her very first phone that she had ever sold on the website. However, this is the very first phone that I had ever purchased on the website. You can see I gave her a five-star rating because the phone um, turned out to be fantastic. Uh, she didn't rate me back, but that's not really much of an issue. Um, but what you can definitely tell is I, I prefer to purchase from somebody that is just you know a normal average Joe looking to sell their phone on you know second hand on, on Swappa. Um, there's a lot a lot of retailers out there. So if I were to go and look at you know just XSs right, and I chose an unlocked iPhone XS, you can see that a lot of these are um, third party resellers. So what they do is they purchase pretty much any phone in any condition and then they just resell it on this website for a higher price than they purchased it for. Um, so quality control is there. A lot of them go through multiple point checks and things like that, and you can definitely get a great phone from them. However, you know, I am a little bit skeptical because you never know the full history of the phone if you're buying through a reseller. However, if you're going through, for example, Chris B, who has six sales in his entire lifetime, he kind of looks like somebody that may be just trying to sell their phone um, and you know, just used it for a week, price negotiable, let me know, original box and accessories. So like this is the type of person I would end up buying from because he's got a great review. Um, he doesn't, ha he hasn't sold a lot of iPhones or any, you know, a lot of phones on this thing. He's sold 10. Um, so he's the type of person that you definitely want to end up purchasing from um, over a reseller because it, it, he actually used this phone and he knows the entire history behind it. Um, so let's go back to here. Um, you can see this is my rating. The final total, $785 with shipping. Um, and then if we go back, this is the actual listing. This is exactly what it looked like when I purchased it. So you can see very first picture. You can see there's absolutely no scrapes on the side. Mint condition phone, as she stated. Um, everybody is required to have the phone on their person when they post the listing on Swappa. Hence the picture right here. This is kind of their dual factor authentication to make sure that you actually own the phone um, and you have it on your person. Um, and so yeah, these were the, the few pictures that were available. Um, only use this phone for a few days, so it's practically brand new. No scratches, dings, dents, or cracks. We'll include brand new, never use charging cable and adapter. I read everywhere that nobody ever throws in the charging cable and adapter. And so I wasn't expecting it and I did not end up getting it. Um, shipped very quickly within the two-day time frame. Um, you can get express shipping if you want. Um, and you can see here I was making some negotiations. You know, I'll do 800. I was offering 765. And then it goes all the way down here. You can see, um, I think another part of the reason why I got it for a better deal is a lot of these people were just not being nice to the seller. Um, she had never sold before. She didn't understand the full market of how to sell you know, product secondhand. And so I was able to get a pretty good deal because people were being very, very uh, mean to her. You are aware that you can unlock it with if the phone with a phone call if it's paid off, right? Like, so they're being very, very, you know, rude to her. She's kind of giving some sass back. Um, and then she and I went back and forth here. And then uh, you can see the guy that she was conversing with and arguing with actually ended up getting his comments removed. Um, anyways, so... If you go down, you can see she kind of mentions more about how she got the phone. And the biggest part here, and the most important thing for me was, I knew I did not want a refurbished iPhone. Um, and I was worried that, you know, I was going to purchase this phone. It'd be in great condition and stuff, but it will ha would have been refurbished. Um, and so I was going back and forth with her because I was trying to have her let me know if it was refurbished or not. And the best way that you can tell is right here. I'll bring it up right here. So if you look, if you're ever purchasing an iPhone secondhand, what you need to look for is you need to go into the about settings, um, general about under settings, and then look for the model number. And whatever the letter is um, within the model number, that will tell you whether it's brand new, Apple refurbished, or a carrier, um, or Apple replacement or carrier refurbished. 
So new means, you know, walked into the iPhone store, purged it, purged it online, whatever. Apple replacement means it's a brand new phone. However, it was replaced through Apple Care. Um, and so basically brand new, it's just the method of acquisition. F means carry refurbished. That is what I was trying to avoid. There's nothing wrong with refurbished phones. It's just, I wanted a brand new one. Um, and so I had her go into the model section um, or about settings and then into under the model number to tell me what it started with. And she mentioned that it started with an N. So I knew that it was app an Apple replacement, which matches up with her story that she dropped her phone. She had to get a new replacement and then she was selling basically the replacement that she'd never, ever used before. And so, um, we ended up making this, uh, we ended up making this purchase. Um, everything went extremely smooth. I paid it via PayPal. If anything were to go wrong, I would have been immediately refunded through PayPal, which is fantastic. Um, so you really have that extra layer of protection. The one thing I will say is that if you purchase something that is in like new condition with a few scratch, scratches and scrapes, um, it may come in with a little bit more than you had, you had imagined. However, you're not going to be able to get a refund for that. Um, the only real way that you can get a refund if it's absolutely not in the condition that it was stated in. So if they say it's brand new and it's got scraps, scratches and scrapes and, and the phone's bent a little bit or, or whatever, then you can get a refund. However, if you're purchasing something that they list has scrapes on it and they say oh, it's a few hairline scratches and then you find come to find out that it's a little bit more, um, there's a good chance that you're not going to be able to get a refund. So you have to do your due diligence with it. Um, I literally just stared at these photos for hours and hours and hours to make sure that there was absolutely nothing wrong with it. Talked to the seller a good bit. And, uh, ultimately I felt pretty confident in purchasing this phone. Um, and it turned out to be a great deal. So I highly recommend purchasing off of Swappa. It's a great website. You can get some fantastic deals. I always recommend purchasing secondhand. Um, I just went over here and iPhones and the best thing is they've got iPhones that all the iPhones they have, AT&T, Samsung, Sprint, T-Mobile, you can get Galaxy phones, you can get anything and everything, you can get laptops and cameras and watches and video games. So you can get so many different things, um, and you can see here, all right, cheapest iPhone XS Max, I have T-Mobile, so I have to get it unlocked or T-Mobile, okay, so I still got it cheaper than what the cheapest iPhone XS Max is, so I got a great deal on it, I'm very, very content with it, um, I've been using it for about two weeks, and it's, it's, it's done pretty well for me, so that's about it. Um, thank you all for tuning in. If you have any other questions about using Swapo or purchasing secondhand, I'm happy to, to answer those. Um, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section uh, and I will respond to you there. But thank you so much and uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one.